it, boys and girls. I'm Nick in the States, and this is the Harley Benton SC Custom in beautiful, delectable, sexy, depthy, deep ocean blue. I'll tell you what, inexpensive guitar companies, when they get blue right, it really has just a transparency and depth to it that looks amazing. And ironically, Gibson, typically, with some exceptions, messes up blue on the Gibson guitars that they put out. It doesn't look as good as the cheap stuff. I don't know, go figure. But this is the Harley Benton one. It's nice. The best thing about this is, it's under 200 bucks. In the US right now, with the exchange rate, is $191 plus shipping to my door. Next week, depending on whatever happens in the world, it could be higher, it could be lower, but it tends to be right under the $200 range all over the place. I think it's 175 euro plus VAT. Now, you may notice this sexy beast is very much of the Gibson Les Paul formula, but almost more accurately of the ESP Eclipse, or the ESP LTD Eclipse versions. Very, very cool. Your basic mahogany body, maple top. This one's a maple veneer over the maple top. Two humbucker, uh, two pneumatic bridge, stop tail, three-way switch, 24 and three quarter inch scale, mahogany neck, three by three tuners. In this case, lovely Grovers. Grovers, under 200 bucks. Wow, that's good, that's cheap, that's nice. Um, in this case though, you've got a single volume, another single volume, so volume, volume, two volumes, and a Master Tone. You'll notice there's still a little tag on here reminding me that this also has coil tapping, which is great, and we'll get to that more in a minute. So very much the three knob setup that uh, the ESP has, so master, master Tone. This guitar, though, what's so neat about this guitar is I got it, and it's gorgeous, right? It's inexpensive. I bought it just under a year ago, I think. Got it in and was going to do some videos for it, and then didn't. And then life happened, and kind of here, and we're here today. But it sat on a wall, it sat in a case, it sat in a bag, it sat back on a wall, it sat on the floor. And I played it a little bit, but I never really plugged it in because I had a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of just acoustic strumming and it's a nice resident. It's a resident acoustic player, so it was my noodle guitar. And what was neat is the neck stayed very stable through all that period of time. The fret stayed very smooth. The neck is a flat, pretty not flat, but your slim, very import, typical, slim, kind of D, shallow, um, not a lot of roll over to the fret, not huge and meaty. It's a, it's a fast playing, comfortable neck. And so I played it a lot, but I hadn't had a chance to plug it in because lately, at least with my amp side of the house, there hasn't been a lot of opportunity to play loud. People are in the house, people haven't been feeling well, that's how things go. So what I've done on the last week leading up to this video being done is I've played it a lot through the Kemper with headphones on, loud through a bunch of different tones. And what I've learned is this guitar kicks butt. <laughs> and it's not just the Gibson-y big tones that it does, those Les Paul, Marshall-y, overdrive stuff that's cool it does those it does those very very well these pickups are very good for that but what surprised me is the delicate articulation and beautiful tones that bell-like ringing tones i'm getting when it's also tapped now in inexpensive guitars the tap sometimes is just like hey you gotta you want a limp, a limp noodle or a full throttle and that's kind of the choice between tapped and untapped in their pickups where this actually reminds me a lot of my prs guitars for like having a life a personality. It's not a strat, but it still is very chimey, single coil goodness. It's like neck pickup here, right? Very pretty. If I go in the middle position, it's almost very acoustic.
Once again, compare those to the untapped versions. But what I find is, instead of just like lowering volume, it just squeezes it and gives it a little bit of chime. And um, what I find with that is it, it gives me inspirational tones to go and find different avenues and different things to play. And that is so huge. If you recall, I did a review for the Grote a couple weeks ago. And I finished playing that guitar and I was like, yeah, it's my guitar. It's, I was I was whelmed, right? I wasn't overwhelmed. I wasn't really underwhelmed considering the price and kind of, you know, what you're getting into with one of those. But I was whelmed. This guitar is surprising and it's inspiring. And the more I play it, the more I know that it's going to be used sitting here much more often than it's going to be sitting in a case. This is my go-to grab spot when I've got time in between a meeting at work or just I can hide out in here and play and not be bothered. Whatever sits here is usually what gets plugged in and played. And the camper's right behind me or the, the Spark 40, it's going to get the play. And this guitar has just been such a surprise from the comfort of the neck the ease to play, the stability of the neck, it stays in tune pretty well, and I just, I love it. And it's a very pretty guitar that I pick it up, I look at it, it makes me smile, and then I play it, and I'm like, this is great. And then I happen to remember how much it costs, and I go, well, that's even better, right? Like, that's just cool. Anyway, let's do some tones. I'm going right, once again, into my Kemper, into a complete six from Native Instruments interface, into my Mac, which is running Logic, and we're gonna go through a couple different tones here. I'm gonna go clean and dirty. I'll try and give some eight more AB on the, the tapped stuff, and then let it get a little filthy, and then we'll talk some more at the end. First, I wanted to say these pickups have punch to them, volume. That's my cleanish tone, and in many guitars, it's pretty relatively crystal, crystal clear, where this is pushing it into a little bit of overdrive, which gives you an idea of what it has on tap. But what's nice about that is I'm going to now kick in the coil tap, and you're going to hear it clean right up without touching even the volume to play with things, uh, which is a great you know, way to keep your amp settings and everything else the same and be able to mix things up if you're on stage or whatever you're doing. Make it a little bit dirtier, still tapped. Go back to full humbucker goodness.
the end of the day, I love this guitar. It's a tremendous bargain, but much better than that. It's just a great guitar. I looked over through the fit and finish, and you can see a couple spots where the um, the dye didn't take in the wood. It's just took less in a couple spots as though maybe there was some glue that got on there that got wiped off and then it didn't, wasn't quite as absorbent. But as I look around the rest of the guitar, there's there's really nothing, nothing wrong with it. That's the only thing that belies potentially its price point that it's at. I won't change these pickups. I love them. I think they sound great. This guitar has a wonderful mojo. And because of that, ha ha! The tag is now gone, which means she's staying. She's mine. She will not be departing the collection like maybe some of the other ones are right now as we make room for some new things that are en route. Now, a point of mention here, guitar shipping from Toman is now $49 to the U.S. You can ship up to three guitars to that $49, which means it's only like 16 or 17 bucks a piece. So if you're thinking about that, that's a great thing. One of the challenges right now, though, is due to this global shenanigans that are going on health-wise and everything else, the, there aren't as many flights from, say, Frankfurt to the U.S. My, uh, my stuff comes in through New York, which means if there aren't as many flights, the DHL steerage class stuff that we get shipped to get that low rate takes a while to get out of Germany. To the point that my current order there for an Aggiefish signature guitar that I can't wait to get, I can't, 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 can't. Well, it's still there, and it has not yet even gotten to New York, and it's been pretty much three weeks at this point. So if you're ordering for the States, be patient. Have something else to distract you while you wait. And I have this to distract me while I wait for that, and we'll see if uh, that can knock this one off the wall here as being my primary grab-and-go playing guitar. Folks, the Harley Benton SC Custom, two humbucker goodness, all those Les Paul Eclipsey tones with respect and tone and great pickups. I don't know. Go check these out. I think you're going to be quite happy. I've been Nick in the States. It's been a blast sharing my issues with you. Thanks for coming by. Everybody be safe, and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Trooper 8675309 to base. Go ahead, 5309. Base, we have some intruders here who haven't yet subscribed to the channel. Shall I detain them? 5309, subject them to two options for more videos. Good call, base. That should bring them around.